Okay. Here it is. The latest gem in the Armada. It's a conquest by Gulfstream. Little frigate. Picked this up cheap. Cheap, cheap. Cost me more to tow it six miles than, than I paid for it. So, for that, I wasn't mad at it. As long as it didn't fall apart, and even if it did, um, it's based on the Toyota SR5. It's got the RV 3.0 V6 in it. It's a really good motor. Uh, anybody knows anything about these things, that motor alone, with 20,000 original miles on it. I could pull that motor out, put it in the 4x4, throw the whole thing away and still feel pretty happy about it. But I'm going to look this thing over as a camper and uh, and see. Uh, it needed to be jumped. It started on ether. Um, it, it did actually start sputtering when I put some gas in it, which wasn't new gas. It was kind of old gas. I'm sure whatever what little was in there was pretty bad too. So put some fresh gas in it and see if it runs. If it does, I'll go from there. Shifter linkage. <laughs> Transmission shifter uh, is frozen. Uh, would not uh, go into neutral or drive. I actually had to crawl under there, pull the uh, linkage arm off the side of the transmission, and uh, rotate it into neutral so we could uh, so we could get it on the tow rig. All right. I don't even know what this is foot wise. Maybe I don't know. Maybe 17 footer. Nice small rig. I mean, anybody can really drive this. It's just a two wheel drive, you know, Toyota pickup truck. Uh, dually axle, um, the drivetrain alone, you know, 20,000 miles on it. Again, good deal. Uh, outside is nearly not bad. It's corrugated fiberglass, so it's really, it's a 91. I was expecting it, for the condition of the roof, I was expecting the, the outside of the walls to be in worse shape. But I think the inside of the walls is where uh, it's going to make or break this thing. The canopy, someone had redone this maybe in 2016 or something. Got it all ready to camp and just never did. I think that canopy was probably replaced. That is not an old or junky looking canopy. It's never been bent. Um, so I'll, I'll deploy that canopy. Um, that's worth a couple bucks. So let's go. Let's uh, let's take the uh, grand tour here. Look at that. Ooh, can you smell that? Mmm, <laughs> yes. Oh boy. These are rough. This is what happens when they leak. It's really actually pretty well outfitted for its size. Got an overhead loft. Actually the overhead, which is normally the worst damage, is, is not too bad. Probably gonna need to be redone anyway. This center section is what's screwed here. And it leaks from around the skylight. Roof vent. You see that, that uh, plywood. What, that's what it's supposed to look like completely gone to the point where I just spent some time because it was actually hanging down I couldn't even walk in here that's the styrofoam insulation underneath that is supposed to be the outside roof and I can see some daylight I haven't gone up there yet but figure that whole center section's total loss got to come out but that's not a big deal this is actually a metal frame which is nice I was kind of expecting to see wood there so the structural integrity should actually be held. I can pull that all apart, uh, rebuild that. I thought that'd be wood. It's not. A lot of these fiberglass ones, you'll find they're wood framed. Um, some some of them are metal framed. Some and then some of the metal exterior ones are are wood framed. So you just don't know really what they put under here. Uh, so anyway, we got a nice captain's chair here. Overhead. Uh, this is supposed to be some kind of click-clack couch. I can't quite figure it out. It's almost like it's backwards. And the hardware is supposed to slide there, and it's rusted. So I just have it up with the uh, stowage compartment door open to dry out. This thing's wet. She's a wet. Um, I'm going to put throw a tarp on it next is what I'm going to do. There's your overhead stuff. Pretty nice galley here. Uh... Let's just hop up in here. Wedgewood by Atwood. Three burner stove. 
single bay stainless stink. Yes, stainless stink. That's what it is. Stainless sink. Um, nice little microwave. Nice range hood with exhaust. Uh, your monitor, console monitor. Dometic, uh, pretty nice size Dometic fridge here for the size of this thing. I'll tell you, if, if these appliances work, I'll consider fixing this. If not, I'll pull that motor out and put it in the 4x4. It's a nice little bathroom uh, for um, for the size of the RV. Got your uh, toilets, a little low rider there. Sink, stand up shower. These are the prior residents. Some webs here. Another roof vent that is not leaking. Look at that. That part of the roof might be good. And hey, look at that. It's a composting camping toilet. That's worth a hundred bucks. That can go in the Scotty. Scotty ain't got a toilet. I hope nobody left any surprises for me in there. Ah! I'm just kidding. So, that's it. So, there she is. This is, this is the before. This is day of purchase. But again... 20,477 miles original on a Toyota. It's good for over 200. And the drivetrain's got a lot of life. Camper, TB, TBD. This uh, doorways for my wide frame. <laughs> That's what we're going with. Ugh. I can't, I can't go through that. I have to turn sideways to go through that door. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, uh, that's it. Going to get up on the roof, put a tarp on it, um, get into the engine, get into the linkage, bring the little, little generator up. No onboard generator on this, not surprising. Does have heat, uh, does have a hot water heater. That's the cabin heater there. Uh, that's the mechanicals for the fridge. Um, does have onboard liquid propane. That's the fill tank under there. Uh, it does have its own water holding tank. So Underbed cargo. Electric port. Hot water heater. I'm not sure. Oh, that's probably the... Uh, I don't know if that's the sewage discharge handles over there. I'll have to look. I think it is. I, I peeked under it when... Uh, when it was up on the flatbed and the whole thing's undercoated it's super solid underneath it's not rusty so yeah we'll see um yeah if i can get this run and drive and ready to camp i mean it's probably five thousand seven thousand dollar deal depending on how much i put into the interior i mean if i gut that carpet the carpet might clean up, might not. I might just... The floor's solid. It's metal floor, so it's actually solid. It's not soft or anything. We'll have to see. To be determined. Don't even know whether I'm going to try to restore it. Or just use the motor and appliances in the Scotty. This is project number three, really. I'm already ordering stuff for the Scotty. I'm going to leave that open to air out. This project's almost ready to camp. This is the... Uh, the Dayton 31 footer we picked up in January um, a lot of electrical work on this I'm waiting for a control unit for the heater after that I have to test the water systems I didn't want to put water in it until I was sure it wasn't gonna freeze uh, backup cameras been installed in it uh, new radio um, generators been overhauled that needed some switches and uh, fuel uh, carburetor rebuild but uh, yeah, I have another video on that. This this one we're ready to camp, I think, soon. At awning, maybe next year. I never had an awning before. It actually does roll out and deploy. It's just a little shabby up there. I might cut it short. That's another project. This is about the Toyota. All right. Happy RVing. Keep these old ones going, man. If you can save them, they're worth some good money, man got you a house on wheels this ain't going to be bad on gas i mean you're talking maybe 20 miles per gallon on that six cylinder toyota go down the road 50 55 you can fit into almost any state park campground 
Nice little low rider, man. All right, stay tuned.